dig, if you will, a picture. A picture? 200 D20s rolling at the same time. No. It is what we no. in the RPG community like to call a Gary orgasm. <laughs> you see, Ugh. Gary Gygax had a reason for inventing the modern tabletop role-playing game. He wanted a reason to roll as many dice as possible and traditional war games weren't doing it for him anymore. So he created a spell called Fireball and then Advanced <laughs> Fireball. And then he created it so that you could level up to the strength levels of gods and then you just had to like roll 200 dice and that's how he got his rocks off. That's how Gary got his rocks off. Anyways, it's a big battle against the Xanathar. Gary Guygasm. No, I don't approve of this opening bit. Gary Guy Fox. <laughs> remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. There is no reason that Gary Guy Cax should ever be forgot. Or no, there he should, he should, he should. Anyways, roll that music. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, your game master, I use he, him, sometimes they, them, and we're doing combat now. We don't have any choice. We're doing combat now. We don't have any choice. I'm Oi, the punk drow monk. Uh, I am played by Rhythm Bastard. We're all he, him, and yeah, I mean, now with this Thunder Fist, I guess it's time to really test, take this baby for a test spin, (laughs) y'all. I'm Sam. I go by they, them, and play Kier, the Warforged Warlock, who is is ready to use some spells. I'm Gina Dazer, playing Nevenya Drexel, a sorcerer bard. They, them, for me, they, them, for them, or she, her, or he, him, depending on who they are, because changelings, so fun. I'm a stick. Now, Madison, uh, I play Koyos, the crocodile lizard folk druid. Uh, and Barry is here too. Oh, oh. The best, the best dog, the goodest dog. If anything happens to Barry, I'm killing everybody and myself. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Sahoni. I use he, him, and I play uh, Dodger Kelly, a wolf boy of sorts who is uh, also a cleric of sorts and also uses he, him. Um, I'm still really sad that I didn't get to do like the post time skip uh, makeover. Oh, never say never. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that's a vital part of the formula, right? We'll mm-hmm. get there. Yeah. Well, it hasn't really been a time skip. It's been like two days. <laughs> it's been, it's, it has been in my heart. <laughs> And you can't change that, Luke. <laughs> In your heart, Dodger has one eye yeah. and a new bandana. And big old post time skip one piece titties. <laughs> if, if you want a montage makeover and big titties, you got to make it yourself. Me and Kira did. My tits are fabulous. Yeah, I see. I was hoping for like a like a rippling sort of cape thing but yeah okay i'll take some titties <laughs> actually i'm pretty sure kier spent most of the last two episodes shirtless you can have titties and the cape here is shirtless but navenia has barely any tits. it's not either or okay. <laughs> Which line did you get in? Titties or Kate? <laughs> Two genders. Which time, which time skip thing did you get? Titties or Kate? <laughs> so we referenced the X-Men arcade game. And... Uh, yes. So uh, the doorways opened and you found the Xanathar waiting for all of you. So I'm going to need some initiatives. I'm not Brennan Lee Mulligan. I don't make you roll initiative and then uh, come back <laughs> at the end or That's come back cruel. for the next episode. I, I uh, Since we like last did our group recording, I have listened to all of Fantasy High, though, and it's wonderful.
Absolutely. Hey, another shout out. Thanks, Brendan Lee Mulligan. How did Brennan particularly help you or was that for inspiring me? Oh, we thanked them earlier in a different episode. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Probably. And also just providing good content and playing with your characters saying yes and. Yeah. But also not trying not to kill them. Like you're going to kill that dog. And I respect that. Great pivotal <laughs> guest arc on Rude Tales of Magic. Brendan Lee Mulligan. Check them out. I still need to watch. Uh, I bit it, start a uh, fetch quest because Dungeons and Daddy season one ended, and in between that and season two, they're doing a small uh, uh, four episode mini arc where they all get to be dogs. <laughs> um, so, honey, what did you get for initiative? I, I rolled a three <laughs> total. Oh, I rolled a one on it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Kier and Ole, both of you got 20. Who wants to go first? Uh, I, I think I'm going to charge in first because yeah, I, I have the higher dex. Yeah, I was about to ask what your dex was. Yeah, I have a plus four dex. Oh, yeah. Then uh, first. No, no. Uh, I was figuring out initiative order. The Xanathar oh. goes first. Uh, Why are they here? I, no. <laughs> Welcome to die. Yeah, no, no, I got that. <laughs> because they had gotten the information out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 fine. I'm I'm just <laughs> bitter. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, does someone want to roll me a d10? Sure, I'll I'll roll a d10 for you. I have a, a bunch of them out right now. Mm-hmm. Nine. Ooh. Ooh. So Xanathar says, welcome to die. And it is going to be player's choice. Dodger, I need you to make a dexterity save for me. Okay, uh, I will do that. Uh, luckily, that's one of my better physical saves. You know, mm, look who's got physical saves. <laughs> <laughs> 14. That is not enough. I didn't think it would be. Before I give the results, does anybody have sort of a benefit that they can give to Dodger? To raise his role? Potentially. Bardically inspired it. I'll let you retcon that uh, you bardically inspired it. Yeah, I think it was when I was ruffling his hair over his boyfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we we established <laughs> that in the last episode. So mm-hmm. how much is your bardic inspiration done? Uh, it's just a 1d6. Okay. So. Yeah, let's see what that does. Well, I rolled a five on that. Okay. So uh, just a reminder, the Xanathar is... Baby. Uh, on the verge of getting all this treasure. Uh, Dodger, you luckily get out of the way of a blast. Ugh. For context, that would have done 53 damage. So kill me immediately. Got it. With a disintegration ray. Yeah. Oh, you can't come back from that one, bud. Nope. That's how we put you in a bag. <laughs> so I wanted you to remember that uh, he's not here to fuck around. Okay. Oi, your turn. Mm. All right. Uh, how far above, or is, how far away is he? Uh, you can get there with a normal movement. All right. So I was like, all right, asshole. Cracks his knuckles. Prepare to be thunderstruck. And I ready uh, my thunder fist to just slug him in the face. Do, when you uh, ready yet, does it go, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> <just. laughs> Yeah, um, so I'm going to roll to attack. So you first roll a d6 because uh, it zaps you. Cool. Six already. All right. Not using that again. So I'm going to roll a d20 to attack. And I got an 18 plus. uh, I got a 25 to hit. That hits him. All right. And then I'm going to roll three D six for damage uh, Four, three. And what do I add anything to it? Like my usual damage modifier or. Uh, Yes, you add your usual. uh, This three D six goes on top of your unarmed strike. Okay, so that's uh, three plus four for 12 damage. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to uh, follow up for my bonus action. Uh, flurry of blows, so I get two more strikes in. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to spend a key point. Oh, I'll scroll all the way down. All right, first attack. I rolled a now one. No, <laughs> no, that misses. Oh, That's Why the bad you... number. That's the worst time to do it. Why did you roll that number? And then 
I'm going to roll another one. Uh, uh-huh. A 13. Okay, better. That misses. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so those are my, uh, yeah, uh, so, right, uh, flurry of blows. Well, I, hold on. Uh, it's, uh, let me see, hold on. Okay, focused aim. When you miss with an attack roll, you can spend one to th- three key points to increase your attack roll by two, or does that not work in this situation? Uh, could you say that again? Okay, I, I have a special focused aim. Uh, when you miss with an attack roll, you can spend one to three key points to increase your attack roll by two for each of these key points. You uh, for each key point to spend, potentially turning the miss into a hit. Mm-hmm. You have to declare what you spend before you know if it is a hit or not. Okay, so you could risk it with that uh, thirteen that you rolled, but you'd have to say how many you want to spend. All right, I'm going to spend. I'm not going to risk it yet. I'm first up. Fair enough. So, like, oh, you just come in with this electric haymaker and smack him, and then, like, the charge kind of lets out of it, and, like, you hit him again, and it just doesn't have the same impact for those other two hits. Kier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, um, look, I'm going to speak in the vocabulary that I know. Uh, when you've seen Kier fight before, it's much more uh, in soul caliber terms, like Raphael, uh, mm-hmm. You know, fencing with the rapier. Kier has the the rapier out, but also that uh that pat that dagger that mm-hmm. is part of them, and uh, <clears throat> it's much more of a Cervantes situation now. <gasps> ah, very wild stance. <laughs> Take a look at Valdo. Oh no, Valdo, zero Valdo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll get to the Valdo stage later. <laughs> and I think just Kier comes right behind. And uh, I'm going to start with the Hexblade's Curse. I'm going to point the dagger Mm -hmm. and just charge in with my rapier. I get, that's a 20 total to hit. That hits. Right. That's 1d8 plus 4. So that's 11 plus 3 from Hexblade's Curse for 14 Mm -hmm. piercing damage. Very nice. And yeah, uh, that, because yeah, I used my bonus action. So I, I... I figure I'm back to back double dragon style with uh with Oi. Yeah. Yeah, so you like go and cast your curse, which I assume kinda looks like this blue spark that shoots from your hands. It's um you know what I think it, it it as I charge I point the dagger and it like a blue spark erupts mm-hmm. like a blue spark emits from the dagger and then blue sparks are covering uh Xanathar until it kind of dissipates until like, it's still happening. Mm-hmm. Like if uh, in Pokemon, when you, you still see the status effect every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that. Excellent. Navinia. Okay. So friends are rushed in and attacking it. I think I'm going to, um, I have this rod of rulership, but it, there's a line that says commanded to do something contrary to its nature. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure I can word it besides saying like attack us after you get the treasure, just to make sure. Uh, Cause he's paranoid. Mm hmm. Does Navinia, Navinia has been in his lair, right? And has seen the fish? Is that a thing that happened? Yeah, that that yeah. did happen. Yeah. Because that's how you ended up finding the Stone of Galore. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to try I If I had offensive abilities, I would be doing that. I have a gun, but it's very small. And I can make fun of him. But I'm going to try to command obedience from him. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the rod of rulership. With the rod of do I see anyone else like lurking? Uh, not in this opening room. Okay, like that's another thing. Like I could have, I don't know. I don't know if that there's more people. I don't know if there is or not. So I knew it travels a little deep, but yeah, I'm gonna try to use it on him. Uh, DC 15 wisdom save. He saves. Piss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you doing anything else on your turn? Can I offhand shoot him? Uh, I believe using the rod of rulership is a. Yeah, it's an action to do that. Full action? All right. Yep. So what did you say as you, like, pulled out the rod of rulership? Yeah. So I think I I pulled it out. And I was like, I know you don't like us for some reason, even though we're very nice to you. But if you leave now, you can go visit your fish. Wouldn't that be nice? Like, it's not even, like, that persuasive mm-hmm. <laughs> while we're fighting. Like, it's still honest, but... The Xanathar is going to take one of his legendary actions and say, oh. I'll make you sleep with the fish. Roll a wisdom save, Navinia. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a 12. You have been, uh, you are now asleep. Yeah. For a minute. 
so that is 10 rounds of combat unless someone <sighs> wakes you up. Yeah, I think I just look confused and I just sit down like, I don't, that didn't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job, Navenia. As effective as always in fights. The good news is y'all have a buddy there. Barry is going to spend his round waking you up. Yay. Oh, boom, boom. Licking your face. What yeah. a good boy. Good boy, Barry. Like nuzzling in, sitting on your shoulder. Like how a dog tries to get you up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Which your click is uh, Barry played by. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little fuzzball you find on the court on the counter. <laughs> Still lit from your belly button at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the living mummy. <laughs> um, um, okay. uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> sure. Sure. I guess so. I don't know. Okay. So I'm I'm awake, but on the floor. Mm-hmm. So it is then Koyos' turn. Mm-hmm. So Navinia's awake now, right? Barry is yeah. Barry is taking care of it. Burn one of his legendary actions, so that's good. <laughs> uh, for for a moment there, I thought you said Barry used one of his legendary actions. Like Barry <laughs> legendary actions. Barry um. uses a lair action. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Okay. As as just a really quick thing, I'm just gonna Koyos turns to to Barry and Navinia, and I'll just be like, Barry, stay safe. All right, you do that. Uh, and then Koyos is going to hold out his hand and cast Flame Blade. Hell yeah! So he summons up a fucking fiery blade in his free hand, mm-hmm. similar in size to, and shape to a scimitar, uh, and it will last for ten minutes. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to attack with that. Attack the Xanathar with Flame Blade. I believe if I click this, does it just do it? It sure does. That is an 18 to hit. That hits. <laughs> all right. Let me... I'm doing all this with a touch thing, so... That is 10 fire damage. Uh, yeah, so you strike at him for 10 fire damage. Dodger, you are up last. All right. So, Dodger is uh, going to kind of stumble to his feet after dodging that disintegration ray Mm -hmm. and look back up and his eyes are silver and the air is growing still around him and he's going to channel divinity. (laughs) uh, What he's going to do is he's going to use Path of the Grave. I get to curse a creature I see within 30 feet of me until the end of my next turn. Next time you or an ally of yours hits the cursed creature with an attack, that creature is vulnerable to all of that attack's damage. Then the curse ends. Damn. Yeah. So Dodger is going to uh, look up and say, Trice, you have uh, uh, attempted to kill me and Trice, you have failed. Let this be the time you are dragged to the grave. Uh, And point. And uh, as he's doing this, I'm going to use his bonus action to do something. Oh, Mm -hmm. So while he's doing his big spooky uh, thing, I'm also going to cast a spiritual weapon, Mm -hmm. which only uh, cost a bonus action. Sure does. So we have uh, a big, uh, long crystal bladed longsword kind of rising from the ground beneath him or or behind him, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, for full uh, for full drama. Uh, Yeah. And it's I just want something prepped and at the ready to protect. All right. So that is the end of the first round. It is the Xanathar's turn again. And Mm -hmm. it is going to start by saying, Oi, I like your hand in my mouth. (laughs) (laughs) It is going to make a bite attack at you. That is going to miss. Unfortunately, it also has eye rays. Hmm. And that, uh, boy, I need you, uh, to make a con save. A constitution save? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Uh, that is a 14. Da, 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 da. That's not a good sound. Ah. (laughs) Uh, oi. Yeah? You are hit with a innervation ray. For 35 damage. Oh, I'm... Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can do to get my ass out of this. Um, can I not deflect missiles? No. Uh, deflect missiles. Uh, step of the wind. Hey, you know what I have? I have healing, so... 
Okay. <laughs> Healing and illusions. All right. Oi doesn't know what innervation means, so uh, he just <laughs> crashes on the ground. It's sort of looking like a mummified husk. Mm. Oi, it is your turn. I need you to make a death save. Okay. Uh, I, Don't roll a one. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll do it. Roll a d20. Mm-hmm. I know you like ones, but... A boy. 10. Okay. All right. Uh, so it's been a while since I have had to uh, get close to killing someone. Uh, so death saving throws as a reminder. Uh, each round you make a d20 roll. Hey, so I have uh, something. Uh, mm, no, I can't do that. Don't worry, Oi. I'll, I'll okay. make sure you don't die when it's trying. I was about to say, we have a grave cleric. Yeah. yeah. Luckily... That is a success for you. Okay, good. So only two more and you were stabilized. Yay. Here. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it is your turn. Uh, uh, you just saw the Xanathar, like, straight up shoot. Boy. Yeah. I, I think my f- my face flares out with some blue smoke. Uh, I think that smoke continues to flow out, maybe wraps itself around my blades uh, as I cast Spear Shroud. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add a D8 cold damage to any attacks I make with intent on creatures within 10 feet of me, blah, blah, blah. I use my regular action to attack with my rapier. Mm-hmm. If you hit, he's going to be vulnerable to both of those types of damage. I got a 14. That is a miss. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's anything I can do here. Um, yep, is what it is. That's what I say all the time now. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of your turn, Navinia. Okay, I think uh, Navinia, first of all, uses half my movement to stand up. Mm-hmm. And then I just shout at Oi and like, Oi, we're having a spa day when we get back, so get up. Uh, and I heal you for eight. You get eight cheeky little hit points back. Okay. Uh, and then I move into the room to try to not be within physical range of the Xanathar. Mm-hmm. But just to move past them or around back, you know, as far as my little legs will go, which probably isn't much because it's half my movement. So yeah. I just move a little forward and like off to the side. Yeah, you don't have yeah. too much movement anyways. Yeah. So I take Barry with me. Sure. If he wants to go, I would like, he's his own, he's his own little person. Oh, uh, yeah. Barry is going to uh, follow you around yeah. right now on his turn. Koyos, it's your turn. All right. Well, the thing about Koyos is that he has had a lot of druid abilities that he hasn't really been using up to mm-hmm. now. <laughs> we haven't really been in many fights, and nor have we really been in many druid situations. But he did just watch his friend get lasered nearly to death. Mm-hmm. So first as his bonus action, he opens his jaws wide and roars. And from that roar, like almost like just coming off of him, comes like the ghostly aura spirit bear that is uh the Uh druid ability spirit totem Mm -hmm. and with the bear everybody gets temporary hit points equal to five plus my druid level so that is five plus five hooray hell yeah uh in addition you and your allies gain advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws while in the aura uh Mm -hmm. so everybody within what is it 60 feet of me, it seems. Oh, no, it's 30 feet. My bad. But the, the, the bear can move 60 feet around. <laughs> He's just here. Let's go, bear. I am glad I pulled out that Ursa, Ursa Major hero quest. <laughs> yeah. So the bear is here mostly giving us his very good support. All right. And that is only a bonus action. And that is only a bonus action uh, because then Koyos once again lifts his fiery blade above his head and just whacks the Xanathar with it. So is Koyos also up near the Xanathar? Yes. Okay. Uh, and that is another 18 to hit. That hits. Hell yeah. Uh, vulnerable, remember. So mm-hmm. what, is, what does vulnerable do? Uh, I think you get to add half your damage or do twice damage. What is it? Uh, vulnerability is... Twice? It's like the opposite uh, of resistance. Yeah, damage of that type is doubled against it. Yes, ah. the damage of all types that you've done are doubled. Excellent. Well, I rolled 11, so double that. Uh, I'd say Fire if you damage. want, you could alternately just roll the same number of die. Oh, that works too. Again. So 11 and 7. So 18? 18. 18 fire damage. So you summon this big old 
I'd say it's a bear-like dog, just keeping with. <laughs> yeah, it looks more like <laughs> a dog, admittedly. It's a big berry. Oh. Uh, it's it's one of those. Um, what are they? The 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 Bernese mountain dogs. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> but like standing on two legs and kind of like a bear. Bow 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 wow. <laughs> and uh, then it is Dodger's turn. Uh, all right, Dodger is going to uh use his bonus action to make his spirit sword uh kind of float towards Xanatar uh mm-hmm. and do its it do its big attack thing uh which on a hit it equal it, it takes damage equal to uh one d eight times four and it gets plus seven to hit so let me roll a d twenty does a nineteen hit it does. All right, then I'm going to roll a d8. That was a five plus four, nine damage. All right. Uh, uh, that is just my bonus action. I am going to go over to uh, Oi, and I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on him. So you're going to get another d8 plus four. Uh, I rolled an eight on that. All right. So get 12. I have 10 max hit points. I'm already back to square one. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. At the end of your turn, the Xanathar is going to use his second legendary action. Uh Uh-huh. To leave. And die. He he leaves and dies. (laughs) He leaves and falls over. (laughs) Poops himself. (laughs) In that order. <laughs> <laughs> I poop myself. Dodger, I need you to make me a wisdom save. Cool. That's the thing I'm good at. Good thing, too. Uh, but I rolled a 26 total. <gasps> so you get hit with a, like, pink beam full of hearts, and it just rolls off of you. One of these days, you guys are going to stop trying to mess with my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, the Xanathar is going to, on his turn, use a, uh, a hover move to get out of the way and uh, move uh, from where the spiritual weapon and all of y'all are crowding around him. Mm-hmm. And is then going to make <laughs> another uh, blast. I, I do have to say, it's very funny to think of a beholder being like... I, Fear me, I am a lord of dark magic. And just, like, four guys surround him and start kicking him. <laughs> <laughs> like like a dodgeball. It's, it's, it's very funny. Speaking of uh, surrounding him, what's the attack of opportunity situation? Yeah. Don't get one. Oh. <laughs> also, I, y'all can't hear it, but as you were saying, he flees. Uh, my cat, Charlotte, made his outside going... <laughs> I can hear it just a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope that stays in the, the episode. <laughs> keep the cat in. <laughs> Take out the drag racing outside my window and keep the cat in. <laughs> it's the same scene. Drag racing cats. I am going to need strength saving throws. Luckily, you have advantage from Koyos, Dodger, and Kier. Everybody has okay. advantage. Uh, uh, oh. I have advantage. Okay. So 17 is my best. Uh, 15 is mine. Yikes, the the dice did not like me this time, even with advantage. Uh, I got a 7. All right. Uh, the bad news, then, is, uh, Dodger and Koyos are thrown into a wall. Ah! Kira's able to resist, uh, so let me quickly roll. I, I shove my blades into the ground, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that is 12 damage. Ah, damn. Deal hole, you should have stuck with the mind control. Ooh, 12 damage. 12? You won't need your mind once you're dead. That's the one comeback he's oh. made sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so he tosses you at the wall and you are restrained until the start of his next turn. Okay. Which means your speed is zero. Uh, attack rolls against you have advantage. Mm-hmm. Your rolls have disadvantage and you also have disadvantage on dex throws. Okay. Oi! All right, so how far away is he? Uh, he can't move far, so you're able to get up and go back to punching him if you want. Uh, that sounds exactly like the kind of thing that Oi would want to do. Mm-hmm. So it'd be like, all right, starts to, you know, rub the, the blood or the mummy husk off his cheeks and goes, round two, motherfucker. And then uh, launch, it prepares to launch in with his 
Thunder Fist again. All right. So I take 1d6 first. Are you doing a, an overhead or are you coming from mid? Uh, I think I am going to... Uh, well, as I, I think he has a lot of anti-air actions, so I'm going to, mm-hmm. you know, try to try to like swoop in low and get off that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to do one. D- I, all right, I do four damage to myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good job, good job. It's, it's completely in character. Yeah, it's completely in character. Here. <laughs> all right, um, and then I am going troll my first attack. Uh, hold on, attack plus seven or strike. That is a nineteen. That hits. All right, and then I am ro- right. First, I got to roll damage. Uh, no, roll the rest of your attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to. Um, key do I have? Uh, you know what? I have enough that I can easily do another flurry of blows. So I'm going to spend a key point, and then I'm going to roll. And uh, that's a twenty. So a nineteen, eleven, and a twenty. Okay, so two of those hits, and each of those hits does get the bonus electric damage on it. Okay, so it's just once that I get tagged. Yeah. Yes. This is this is what I was hoping to get the the curse off with. All right. <laughs> One, two, three. That's the first roll. Uh, oh, so plus I, four. So I roll two attacks, or uh, in total, you are going to be rolling eight d six plus eight. Eight d six. Okay. So baby. All right. Well, let's just clear the thing. Eight d plus eight. Uh, 20 plus eight, that's 28 damage. Damn. So you just discharge down on him and, uh, that, that sounds gross. That sounds bad. Yeah. <laughs> you said bit. a lot of bad things so far this game. Mm. I, I mean, I am working on a visual novel of uh, our adventures here. So like, who knows? We could work that in. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, you just like punch him and then you do like the whole you flip your fist up so that smacks him into the face into his big eye and the Xanathar looks very unhappy about this uh, does not get better when he fails the con save so he is incapacitated for one round mm. Mm. what does that mean for attacks does that break concentration some good mechanical questions uh, can't take actions or reactions you are still telekinetically hold- held though mm. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, no, it is specifically you are no longer incapacitated. Or you are no longer held because he is incapacitated for a round. He basically gets stunned. <laughs> Freedom. <Perfect. Phil. laughs> so uh, that is always turn Kier. Yo, uh, okay. Uh, Kier is going to charge Adam. He's going to make two attacks this time. One with the rapier, one with the dagger. The bonus mm-hmm. action. So that is... Do what? No. Screenshot. Screenshot. <laughs> Screenshot. Hold on. Are you getting ripped off? Derail this. I need to okay. show everyone. I know it says I rolled an eight. <laughs> we can all agree that's what it says. But what I would like to submit to you. And for podcast listeners, podcast listeners at home, uh, we have a updating uh, photos from Luke of where our little minis are in the game. And then mm-hmm. a very special, uh, what looks like a 19 on the die. Like Thank you. But it says eight. It says eight, but I would like everyone to. It says it's a natural one. Oh, I know. Yeah. But I would like everyone to look at it. No, I see it. Mm-hmm. I, I think the, yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, my friend. I know. Rip in peace. I know. I will let you roll it again. Thank you. <sighs> I would thank you. What a benevolent DM. I would be yelling about it being cocked if we were at a table. The, That's the, <laughs> the physics engine is not being kind right now. You you rolled as many dice as you could. This is your comeuppance. Yeah. I I did well, do that. I did do that. You I, fucked around and now you found out. As we all know, dice are a limited pool. Yeah. I <laughs> Just for shits and giggles on D and D Beyond, I fucking rolled a hundred D one hundreds and it broke my computer. Uh, I rolled a fifteen for the rapier. That's gonna miss, right? Yep, that is a miss. Uh, but for the dagger, a twenty two. Yeah, that hits. Okay, come on, dagger. Uh, so this is gonna do one D four plus four. We'll do four, so eight total. Uh, plus one D eight. 
uh, from my spirit shroud of cold damage. So it's eight piercing and where's my one cold damage? <laughs> a shiver. I, I wing them with the dagger. I, I come in charge. It's going to look like a really cool cross chop, but I kind of trip and just wing them with the dagger. Yeah. From <laughs> one angle, from one camera angle, it looks really cool. And then it plays back again. And it's just, and that is cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Navinia. Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, look at Oi because he's mm-hmm. the most hurt, right? Yes, like twenty uh, something out of thirty. Uh, hey? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And make sure you pull your temp HP before you pull your other ones. Uh, I'm going to do a level two healing word and say, mm-hmm. "Oi, you're doing spectacular. That new hand really suits you." Um, do a cheeky little heal of eight points, and because I cast a spell. Uh, I'm going to use Tempestuous Magic to move 10 feet without provoking attack of opportunities. And then mm-hmm. I'm going to use my movement to move as far into the room as I can just to get behind him. Fair enough. Uh, as a reminder, there are a series of very large doors in yeah. this room. So I, I could be like up against the doors and I take out my gun. Then I pull out my gun! I take out both of my guns. Then I take out my other gun! Oh, wait, do I have both my guns? No, no, I gave it to... The- well, I don't think you do, but I can toss it to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I get it from you. <laughs> and now I have two guns. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Cap them. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that the end of your turn? Yes. I used my bonus action this time, so I'm learning. Barry is going to run ahead to one of the doors oh, on yeah. his turn. Koyos, it's your turn. Uh, you had gotten tossed aside, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you are uh, free now. I am currently free. Uh, so real quick clarifying question. Mm-hmm. Uh, is an um, arm straight uh, possible for, for two weapon fighting? Yeah, you just wouldn't use your proficiency for the second hit. Yeah. Mm. Mm, okay, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. That's why I have two guns out. <laughs> uh, so, seeing as I am free, uh, and I still have the flame blade, my very cool mm-hmm. fire sword, uh, gonna run up and smack the Xanathar again, mm-hmm. uh, and then bite him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As part of two weapon fighting, I my unarmed strength is a bite. Fair enough. Uh, so. Flame blade first. That is a nat 20. That is a nat 20. That is what I'm talking about. Are, are we still under the effects of the uh, the curse thing? The weakening? No. Yeah, the weakening. No, that, that ended a while ago, I thought. Ah, all right. Yeah, it, 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 it ends after the first person who makes a hit or at the beginning of my next turn. Ah, I see. Okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, either way, this is still going to be 6d6 because it's a nat 20, baby. <laughs> So that is 18 flame blade damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my bite will be 16 to hit. That misses. <gasps> oh, I try to snap him and then his eye stalk just moves out of the way. Mm-hmm. And that is all my actions. It's like the slow motion thing when you like toss a dog a piece of food and it's not even close to where the food is. It just completely whiffs. Yeah, like it hits you in the eye a little bit. Uh, the dog bear roars. <laughs> that is all. Dodger. <laughs> All right, Dodger's gonna. Uh, Dodger's going to pick himself up, and mm-hmm. he is going to bring uh, bring his uh, hand up and point once more and, and, and say, "Lend me your strength." And his fingers get uh, gonna glow, and he's gonna cast Guiding Bolt, level one. Let's see if this uh, does its thing. All right, uh, fourteen plus seven. Uh, does a twenty-one hit? It does. All right, I'm doing 4d6 damage, and it's uh, this guy's gonna glow, and some, and whoever attacks him next is gonna have advantage. Whoa! I did not do a lot of damage there, but I did do 11. Uh, sorry. Uh, yep, yep. It's 11 damage. So the Xanathar shakes out of the snap, and two things happen in rapid succession. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there are three of you right in front of him. I need dexterity mm-hmm. saving throws from Kier, Oi, and Koyas. 
Dexterity. Mm-hmm. Too good. Oh. I rolled a 26. 17. Uh, samesies. Uh, all of you uh, save on the saving throw from Ooh. being slowed. Yay. The second thing that happens is the Xanathar turns invisible. Oh, dill hole. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh-huh. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I, I actually, wait, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Guiding Bolt. Uh, on hit, da-da-da. There's a mystical dim light glittering from the on the target, correct? Yeah, he's glowing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so do we just cancel out the advantage? Oh lord, he's glowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So while well, he's so well, he's turned invisible, uh, there, and, and is trying to deal with those guys, and Lang is just in the background. Going, yes. <laughs> yeah. Fist pump. <laughs> I love when Luke just goes, yes. <laughs> uh, so you see sparkles moving around. Oh, it is your turn. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to crank up my thunder fist <laughs> and mm-hmm. aim for the sparkles. <laughs> mm-hmm. Roll with disadvantage. I, I'm actually going to yell that. Aim for the sparkles. All right. So does the uh, advantage cancel cancel out the disadvantage? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Uh yeah. So it's just going to be a natural roll then. Yeah. Oh. All right. Charging up my thunder fist. Man, Dodger, that was clutch. <laughs> Hell yes. Thirteen plus seven. Roll the twenty. <laughs> oh, not now. Not now. Not Nat, right. It's 13 plus 7. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then I am going to uh, spend another key point to unlock my flurry of blows. Mm-hmm. So you just see Oi, like in Oi's head, he has this bead that's been going on in his head whenever he uses his key. And then it just, like in his head, it just starts getting more complicated. Then, like, more instruments are coming in. You hear a bass line and a guitar, and it sounds like the opening riff to Thunderstruck. Mm-hmm. And he's going to take another swing. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. No, oh, no. Uh, yeah, all right, that's a seven. I probably did the unarmed strike. And I roll to make another unarmed strike. With a 16, I am going to spend another key point to uh, use focus aim. When mm-hmm. I miss, uh, spend mm-hmm. one to three to increase it by two. Yep, that will hit. All right. So <laughs> then I roll uh, eight D6 plus uh, eight. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, 32 plus eight, that's 40 damage. <sighs> Oh my God. And then as the, the bolts spark out everywhere, he looks at the sparkles and goes, you've been thunderstruck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Xanathar looks like shit at this point. But he's invisible. <laughs> yes. Uh, he, he looks you can just like see... invisible shit. <laughs> you you just see this very unhappy face. Oh, you you just get this sense of unhappiness. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm imagining like we're seeing his, his like outline in yeah. sparkles, and he's just like kind of slumped over like mashed potatoes. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> nah, nah. This, is, "This is just the worst Neopets brush." <laughs> uh, so I need a deck save from you, Eric. All right. He's using his last. You, Eric, not Oi. <laughs> <laughs> he reaches out of the screen and kills you. <laughs> he gets you. 21. There is another blast that, like, just goes past your head, and you, you are no idea how lucky you are on that one. Mm, I, I think what Oi does is, like, he, um, uh, like he tilts his head to the side, like mm-hmm. it's fucking Dragon Ball Z or some shit. And then when, like, he hears, you know, a large sound come out, he just looks back like, oh, shit. (laughs) Like, you're still, you're really cool, but you're still oil. You're like, yeah, oh, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Like, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. All right. Is old Kier's turn in the lineup? It is. My beautiful friend. All right, you know what the fuck it is. It's two attacks, first with the rapier. Son of a gun. (laughs) Okay, that one did... Uh, it's 12 to hit. It doesn't hit. Also, he's invisible, invisible now, right? 
Uh, yes, okay. guiding bolt is off, so you're rolling with disadvantage on these attacks. Oh, great, um, cool, because there's my disadvantage roll, and it was a nat cheesem 20. Um, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and here's the dagger. There's a 19. There's a 19. Okay, so the hey. dagger hits. Mm-hmm. Now, I am going to spend a uh, skill point here. Um, not skill point. Uh, a spell slot to use mm-hmm. Eldritch Smite, uh, which mm-hmm. is going to add 2d8 damage to this. Mm-hmm. This is uh, 1d4 plus 4 to start us off. Okay, so six piercing and now here's your cold damage eight cold and 2d8 force sucks uh for 12 for 16 total damage from my dagger so oi comes up and you like slash with your blade and the xanathar like weakly kind of moves away from it and then you stab into it with the dagger like the energy from your blade starts to go through it. I need one final deck save from you and boy. That's an 11 from me. Oh no. Oh, that's a 20 for me. Okay. So. Don't do it. Don't do it. A ray hums out and paralyzes here. That's all. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh, (laughs) Okay, I can help with that. That's cool. We're good. (laughs) This picture Kier was doing a cool pose and everything as the Uh dagger sank in and energies of many different kinds really fired off from it. And then just as they were twisting the blade, like kind of awkward cramp pose. Yeah, I was like, is it like when you get a cramp when you're working out and you're just like, oh, hold on. <laughs> ah, hold on. Oh, fuck. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you you have killed the Xanathar. I'm never going to get to shoot anything. Does it just stop being invisible and just like <laughs> on the ground? Yeah. That is where we end this week on RPG Pals Club. Fuck yeah! Yeah. Yay. Oh my god. You've been listening to RPG Pals Club. I am Luke, your Game Master. You can find this podcast at RPGPals.club or on our Twitter, which is RPG Pals Club. We hope that you have enjoyed this return to Waterdeep Dragon Heist as we are getting close to the end of Gary's vision. <laughs> it's only taken us uh, 56 episodes. No, 57. Yeah, 56 or so episodes to uh, get to the big finale. 10 days and 56 episodes. Yeah. So look forward to uh, what is coming up in the uh, future. I'm curious to uh, whatever it is. More mm-hmm. guns. We all get a gun. <laughs> it's just shatter run now. Campaign two. We get guns. <laughs> <laughs> Even Barry. Bow, bow. Uh, I have plans and thoughts. <laughs> all but, right. Uh, yeah. So look forward to that. Leave us reviews. You you know the whole spiel. It means a lot. Also, like if you enjoy the podcast, let us know on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I Luke, your game master, can be found on Twitter at, at Coltrek. That's K O L T R E G. I have a bunch of podcasts that are wrapped up, but also like the Exiled Annual is coming up soon. I did a fallout columbus set podcast where it sounds like that is also going to get a new game plus style sequel to it and uh yeah follow me on twitter at, at coltrag and check out all the shit that i do i'm sam you can find me on twitter at frunding underscore loom it's f-r-o-o-n-d-i-n-g underscore l double o-m and that's all i got to plug i'm madison i've been playing Koyos. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Quipster Rikuru, Rikuru spelled R I K U R U. Uh, and pretty much everything uh, I do will be linked through there. 
So, you know, it's a hub of sorts. Have fun. I've been Eric, a.k.a. Rhythm Bastard. You can find me on my website, rhythmbastard.rocks. Rock so hard, I had to put it in the URL. You can also support me monthly by going to my Patreon at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. Uh, I record new music. I record covers and hopefully a visual novel that's going to act as sort of a prequel to uh, this little campaign we've been doing. Mm-hmm. You can also support me by going to my Bandcamp page at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com or on my Threadless store at shop.rhythmbastard.rocks. I am Gina Dazer. I'm on Twitter occasionally at a Dazer, A-D-A-S-E-R. I'm working on some pretty big projects right now, but uh, mostly in the physical space forward to those in the future and just take care of yourselves show care for yourselves and others and have some cocoa this is season uh hi i'm sahoni uh you can find me on twitter at sahoni underscore stuff that's s-a-h-o-n-i underscore stuff uh where you can talk uh see me talk about uh my other podcast uh barking points memo which is a semi-weekly uh current events comedy podcast where we look at the news and scream but in a funny way you can also uh find links to my shop bramblewolfgames.itch.io because my game is finally launched that's right you can go get exceptionals a game about community activism and kinetic eye beams right now it's been selling pretty well uh i'm currently working on a setting book for it with some extra proto calls uh for more character options uh which you can support the uh development of on my patreon which is bramble wolf games on uh patreon you know uh i have community copies if you are uh a marginalized person or a poor person who for whom the 15 bucks is uh would be too much of a burden for uh and you can even sponsor extra uh community copies through tips and uh, support on my Patreon. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps things up. Thank you. Uh, welcome back to the entire party being together. Thank you again to Jen Overstreet for stepping in uh, on the previous arc. And keep an eye out. Keep healthy. Keep safe. Keep happy as much as possible. And thank you for listening. Catch you on the flip mode. Bye. Bye. Bye.